Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Karina and I'm back with another personal development video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about balancing social life. So let's get right into it. So number one, you wanna go ahead and prioritize your responsibilities, of course. It is very, very important for you to get done what you need to get done in order to do anything else. If you're gonna have fun, you cannot give yourself leisure if you haven't even taken care of your responsibilities. Like, let's be honest. How does that even make sense? It doesn't, so you shouldn't do it. You wanna go ahead and take care of your house duties. Any tasks that have deadlines, you want to go ahead and take care of that before you can even make the agreement of meeting up with anyone else. Because at the end of the day, the fun is always gonna be there, but your priorities need to come first. Number two is only for my extroverted people. If you're extroverted, I'm not extroverted, but anywho. If you're extroverted, you, you wanna go ahead and book yourself for three social outings and um, yeah, get social because a part of like sustaining your lifestyle that's going to be curated by you is gonna be the fact that like, you're gonna have moments in your life where it's just not gonna feel as pleasant you're gonna be overwhelmed or you're gonna be you're probably gonna experience anxiety and whatever have you you're gonna have like this mindset of always working 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 and that is not healthy you have to make time for like having fun as well it is good for your mental health and um, your overall well-being why would you not want to be social with people especially the people that you care about like why would you not want to be social with them and the next thing I wanted to say is for my introverted people it's basically the same thing you have to put your Self out there it's hard for me because I personally I don't like to talk personally I'm very introverted and so for people like myself that struggle with this area it is the same thing as being extroverted and booking three social outings. I wouldn't go to the extreme of saying book three social outings, especially if this is something very new to you and you are introverted, then you probably wanna start off small, like maybe one social outing a month. And then eventually when you get your feet wet and that starts to feel normal, you can move up on the number a month, like maybe twice a month, you know, like whatever you feel is workable for you. But you definitely don't want to get too attached to that lifestyle because it is quick and easy to get distracted. That lifestyle is fun and it's not good for you. It's so easy to get distracted. Remember the main goal here is to be able to have balance in the life that you are curating for yourself. You worked so hard to get to this point. Why would you want to go get distracted now? And I've already mentioned this before, but I want to touch base on the fact that you definitely want to make time to check in on your loved ones. You know, like once a week maybe. You just set yourself a set schedule for like probably even dedicate one day a week just for that because depending on the kind of person and how much y'all need to catch up on it might take a lot of your time and you don't want to spend so much time talking on the phone and catching up with your friends when you know you have something that needs to be done like with a specific deadline so i would definitely like set a set schedule maybe a day out the week one day out the week to like just catch up with family and friends and call them, text, and you know, just make your presence and be like, hey, I'm still here. And number five is so important, so important. And I feel like a lot of you guys need to practice this, myself included, but I think I'm pretty, pretty darn disciplined in this area at this point in my life. Number five is live in your own means. If you are not financially capable, please say no. Remove yourself from the area you have no business going somewhere that you knew you couldn't afford. Like, why would you ever want to be a burden to anyone? I don't understand. Like, if you can't afford it, say no. A lot of people suffer from FOMO. Like, FOMO is a real thing. Um, I've experienced it, yes, here and there. But it's never that deep for me to, like, make somebody else financially take care of me. Where I have to borrow money from anyone or, like even place myself in a situation where someone is gonna have to come up short because I didn't have it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't get down like that. I hate when people do that to me, so I don't try to, I don't do that to people. If I don't got it, I'm just gonna tell you I don't got it. And then if like 
let's just say this is hypothetically speaking but let's just say like i shared with someone that i wasn't financially capable of going usually i wouldn't even go to the extent of saying i'm financially incapable i'm just gonna simply say no because it's none of your business whether i'm financially capable or not but i would if i express to the person that i'm financially incapable of doing such and such activities and they still offer to pay for me that is something different you are now doing that from the kindness of your heart i never placed myself in a situation where i pretended I can afford something and then made myself a burden to someone else. Definitely live in your own means by all means. It is embarrassing enough that you have to put yourself in that kind of situation. Like my parents say, no te da vergüenza. <laughs> like at some point, like people literally don't have vergüenza. They, they are not shameful. What do you call those people? I know there's a word for it. I just cannot think about it right now. But basically shameless people, that's shameless people are people that just don't care like i'm a type of person that i don't care what people think about me too much you know like obviously i do care to a certain degree but it's not like something that i cannot control it's not that much importance going into people's thoughts of me like yeah to a certain degree but it's really slightly like very minimum but to the point where i'm like being shameless shameless people are dangerous <laughs> But yeah, like, just don't live in your means. Don't overstep that boundary, your financial boundary, you know? Like, no one is responsible for what you cannot afford. You are not a kid, and we all have the same 24 hours in a day. There's no reason why you need to be asking Bob for to borrow $30, $50 when Bob was over the year bust his behind off to get that and then some and all it takes is for you to come and ask and that's it a handout like what happened to bob's sweat and tears like bob had to put in work to get that money and you just over here like can i have can i borrow like no please end that cycle i hate it and i i hate it coming from both family and friends like i i just never put myself in a situation to have anyone to financially have that responsibility over me you know like i've, I've always been a go-getter i've always had a job like if i can't afford it then i just cannot afford it i don't ever try to like be a burden to other people shorten other people's pockets because of me like no but anyways that is the end of this video i hope that you liked it if you made it this far in the video i want to say thank you for watching it's really appreciated don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see y'all in the next one bye